Hello and welcome to Joyce's application question series, JAX. I'm Matt McAllister and I'm an applications engineer with Joyce Dayton. Today we're going to show you how to remove and replace the lifting screw in a keyed for traveling nut jack. Keyed for traveling nut jacks are easy to identify because they have no protection tube protruding from the bottom of the jack and they feature a rotating screw. The first step in replacing the screw is you'll want to make sure you remove the screw stop if there is one. In order to do that, you will loosen the set screws on the adjustable stop and then unthread the stop itself, removing it from the screw. Next, you will want to remove the traveling nut, once again by unthreading it off of the screw. Next, we need to remove the sleeve cap. To do that, we will take an Allen wrench and loosen the set screws holding it in place. You will then unthread it by rotating it counterclockwise. And then remove it carefully off of the screw. Next, you will remove the screw and nut assembly by carefully disengaging it from the worm set and removing it. Now if the bearing comes off, that's okay. You will fish it down out of the actual jack itself. Next, you will need a snap ring tool remover to remove the snap ring from the bottom of the assembly. Now you will need to remove the key from the assembly. If the key is not accessible, you may need to tap it a few times to lower it out. This it came out on its own, but you may need to use pliers. Now you can unthread the nut assembly from the screw. Once you've gotten your new screw, you will reassemble it by repeating the process backwards. So first, you'll take your nut assembly and re-thread it into the nut, or the screw itself. Now once you have re-threaded it, you'll want to make sure that you line up the keyway with the nut. Next you'll slide the key in and replace the snap ring. Now, if your bearing fell off like it did with, in our instruction, you'll want to reseat it with a soft blow mallet. Now you can reinstall the screw and nut assembly into the worm jack. Should just seat right down in there. Now you can replace the sleeve cap. You'll do this by carefully sliding it down over the new screw and tightening that down. After you get it tight, you will need to preload the thrust bearings by use of a mallet. After you tapped it, you want to tighten it again. Keep doing that till it's very tight. Now you will set the set screws as before and then you'll check the worm to make sure that it still rotates with some ease, but not too tight. Then you'll reinstall the nut by threading it onto the screw. Then if you have an extending stop, you'll want to reinstall that and then tighten the set screws. And that's all there is to it. That's how you replace a screw on a keyed for traveling nut jack. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact Joyce State.